The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today we have another Lego haul. Very excited again to share with you some of these items. I know I said I wasn't buying a lot. Now, there is less in this haul in terms of value. I think the other one was about 170 quid. This one is around, what are we talking, 88 in there. We have 58 in there. It's about 140 odd, something like that, 140 odd. Um, but I really wanted to get a few of the sets that are in here because I think that these sets might do, if they don't stay around for too long, I think these sets might do well. Lego it is it has a habit these days of keeping sets for a very, very long period of time. The only ones recently that I know were in and out, and I didn't even grab any, and I talked about them on, on that Lego investing video. Those limited edition Lego house sets, or whatever they were, the dinosaur and the tree. The Lego house tree and the Lego dinosaurs. And uh, those were the only ones that we kept around for a very short time period. You could almost hardly not grab any. Well, obviously, I didn't grab any. Um, so, yeah, those they, they did well with them, but... For a lot of sets these days, they keep them along, uh, around for a very, very long period of time. And then in the secondary market, they don't really do so well. But these sets in here are going to be interesting. Uh, and I think that, I don't really think they're going to be kept around for an incredibly long period of time. It might be something like a year, something like that. Now that's obviously a slightly shorter production run compared to sort of a normal, let's say, two-year production run on a lot of sets. So if that's the case... I think that these will do pretty well in the secondary market. Obviously, I can't say for certain. It's just simply uh, the things that I've seen with regards to them are checking my boxes, and that's always a good sign at least. So, without any more rambling, I will get on with this haul, and we will open up this one first. So I've got one box from Lego Shop at Home, as you can see, with the little ties on here. That's always a symbol of Lego Shop at Home. And then I've got one box from eBay down there. So, let me open this up. Right. Um, let's see this here. So, we've got loads of these uh, air filler sacks on the top here. Oh, there we are. Oh, nice. Nice. I'm getting excited. You know when I'm getting excited? When I see that, when I see the Lego in a box, when I open it up, I'm just, I get so excited. Anyway, so... Uh, we've got loads of these things, which is brilliant. But actually, I've got some others that I did, a, I did a haul for my second channel. In fact, today's video is sponsored by Ads Extra, the channel where you can find live streams, hobbies, reviews, and much more. Go over there today. Nemesis Collection, just one forty nine Out now. Collect them all. 63 new cards to collect for the stream. If you haven't already, you can go over, well, go down below, check out my second channel. I've literally just done a recording of an unboxing of loads of things I bought. I do loads of different things over there. I do quizzes, I do uh, tier lists, I do live shows, I do reviews, I do mail openings of just random stuff I get. It's a bit more of a chill out channel kind of thing, uh, a bit more focused on my hobbies and stuff like that. Um, and over here, as I say, we do that, that we sign and be investing. Um, so yeah, I did a, an unboxing over there, but the link will be down below anyway. So I got these, so first off, I'll pull these out, I think. Um, I got, i put that invoice down there. I got three of these uh, 75267 uh, uh, Mandalorian Battle Pack. Now, what first intrigued me about that, I'll just put this one down here. What first intrigued me about this pack is that you've got four Mandalorians in there. All kind of different prints on them. Uh, just, like, really interesting looking little set. Quite a varied, unique set. With a lot of the battle packs, obviously, you just get four Storm Troop. Well, we had that Imperial Troop Transport a few years back, 2015, I think it was which was just like four stormtroopers, and you have, you know, clone trooper ones. The clone trooper ones are, are interesting, actually. If you get a clone trooper one with a couple of Jedi in, that can sometimes do pretty well. But with this one, I thought, it's got a bit of appeal, because we've got four unique Mandalorians in there. It's interesting. We've got nice prints on them. Obviously, the, the build, there's only little small builds in here, obviously, with the little, um, oh, I don't even know what you call it, a little... Oh, what do we call it in 
um, Star Wars, like a little rider type thing, well, I, I don't know, uh, a speed, something speed, a speeder, that's it, you've got a little speeder there, but the bills aren't incredibly amazing or anything, but this comes from The Mandalorian, uh, well it wasn't a TV series, it was a web series, if you haven't seen it, it's brilliant, uh, I think it was, was it directed or was it written by John Favreau, uh, Favreau? Uh, I think it might have been written by, don't quote me on that, but it, he did have a big hand in it anyway. Um, and I think George Lucas might have overseen it a little bit or something, but it is... Uh, oh, and Dave Filoni, who created The Clone Wars, and uh, yeah, so a great team behind it kind of things. And it was brilliant, the series. I really, really loved it. I thought it was an absolutely brilliant series. Really good action in it, really good storyline, just... It was such a good... I, I can't contain my excitement with how good that series was. They are doing a second series as well. Second season, I should say, actually, because it's, it's season over in, over in America. Um, but, yeah, uh, I think that these might do well because it seemed with fans to go down pretty well. I saw a few people say um, they weren't that... Like, they didn't really, really like it. But the general consensus was one of it being pretty good. And so, that's always good. So that was an indicator to me. And then I, f I saw that they had these sets and I thought, you know what, I think these could do well. And I, I looked online, I did a bit of my process, you know, that I normally do with Lego. And uh, yeah, it just checked a few boxes for me and I thought, I'll have to buy some of these. My intention is to get more of these, but uh, the little battle packs before they, they obviously um, get retired, which I don't think is going to be yet anyway. But, uh, yeah, I just got three of them for now. In fact, they were limited to three as well. Um, but I could probably do it. I don't know whether I could do another order. I think I should be able to do that. Because I saw that someone said that Lego Shop at Home is now limiting you or something. So I don't know whether that means you can't do another order. So normally what I would do is I'd, I'd hit the limit and then I'd just do another order. Um, but I don't know... I, I assume I can still do that, but I'll have to go in and double check actually. But yeah, so I got three of them, so that was cool. We obviously qualified for the free gifts. I've got both the free gifts in there, so that'll help pay for my order a little bit. Because these were all at retail price. The Mandalorian packs that I've got were at retail price. But selling this, I did look on eBay after that video I did on Lego investing last time. They don't go for 15 quid, they go for around 12 to 13 quid. There has been some that have just about got 15 quid, but really it's more 12 or 13 quid these go for. But I'm going to be keeping them for a while, so obviously this free gift will be going out very soon. I think it's on the 23rd of July, so when it goes out and over a bit of time, it might creep up in value slightly. It won't go up in value loads a set like this, but it might go up a little bit. And so if it does, then um, I can sell it for potentially a little bit more. So that'll obviously mean that I get a bit of money off the order, as I mentioned last time. So we've got that set there. I've got three of those now, which is cool. Um, and we've got the Lego Speed Champions Evo Polybag again. Um, this is 3342. And again, I've got three of those now. So those will be going. I'm going to be taking those to university because... Um, they're nice little things that I can sell off at university uh, and put them in a, a jiffy bag and just post them. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be a post box on the way to uni, but I can certainly post them in town on uh, my lunch hour or something like that. So I'm looking for things at the moment that are poly bag things because that'll be so easy when I'm at uni, really. Um, so, and then finally, the final set is another Mandalorian set. Well, the final set of this box, I've got another box actually, I forgot about that. But this is the, where is it, this way around. So this is, I think it was about, it's going for about 50 quid. I think this is 50 quid retail. Um, ATST, this is when we were uh, kind of having that battle on that planet. It was a very interesting uh, little episode that. Um, yeah, the ATST Raider, um, and we've got a few minifigs with it. We've got a Catalonian Raider. Uh, we've got two Catalonian Raiders, the Mandalorian and Clark Cara Dune, which I quite liked her in it actually, I thought she was quite cool. Um, if that's the woman I'm thinking of, is that the right hair piece for her? Didn't she have short hair in the, in the series? Oh, I don't even know. It might not be the person I'm thinking of, I'm not, I'm not 
100% certain actually, maybe it's not. But anyway, that's that one there. Again, I think it might be a good set. I think it might do quite well. Um, it's interesting. It's one of the, obviously, the, the ATST kind of uh, builds as well. It's one of the Walker builds, which are always interesting. Um, in terms of minifigs, you know, there's not crazy minifigs in there or anything. But to have the Mandalorian in there is nice as well. And uh, I think that Kara Doom figure is going to be quite interesting. That might do okay, actually. So we'll see on that one anyway. Um, and uh, hopefully, come the secondary market, that will do fairly well. Um, I mean, with this Mandalorian stuff, there is a lot of uh, intuitiveness, a lot of gut instinct in there for me personally when I'm buying these. Uh, but I've, I, I do trust my instincts quite a lot, and I'm normally pretty good, so... Um, yeah, we'll see on that one anyway, so that's that one there. So, for 50 quid plus post, I got this little lot here. Uh, now, I've got a couple of these little gingerbread men. Now, these aren't really brilliant or anything. I mean, you're probably looking these are about four or five quid, something like that on eBay. And that is going pretty much top end. Um, so I got a couple of them. It wasn't really what I was interested in in the lot. The two main things are in here. Uh, but obviously you'll see I'm, I was interested in but we've got a, a couple of them anyway a couple of nice little sets there We've also got this retired set here that I will be waiting on a, a, maybe a little bit more actually um, I don't know because to be honest. I think this is gone up in value uh, a nice little bit actually I don't remember exactly what it was on eBay. I Want to say I saw Maybe one or two sold for around 19 quid or something, but it seems a bit high now. I'd, I'd have to double check anyway. But it's the, you can you can eBay it yourself actually if I'm a bit wrong there. 75224 is the name of the set. The Sith Infiltrator Microfighter. Uh, I guess with um, is that Darth Maul on there? Is that someone else? I don't know. It doesn't say, does it? It looks like it's Darth Maul. Um, anyway, that's an interesting little micro fighter, and it is now retired, so that's always good. So there's that one there. And then the main kind of draw uh, for me was the two uh, Star Wars. And they are okay, they're cool, they're intact, they're not crushed or anything, which is really cool. Um, Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 75213, uh, the Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar. Now, I think this was. If I remember rightly, the 2018 one, so I mean, we're, we're two, coming up to two years this year. Now, I might sell these sort of this Christmas, or I might sell them next Christmas. I'm not decided, I might just, I might just whack these away, and, and just whack them away till next. Is that the same one? Oh no, that's a different one, that one actually. I might whack these away till next Christmas, as I say. Just whack them under the bed, I've got loads of Lego under the bed. Uh, um, yeah, I need to get another area sorted because it's quickly growing again. Um, when I was really, really into Lego investing, it grew way beyond everything. It was just, yeah, it's crazy. Um, but uh, I might keep these till potentially next Christmas and get an even better price on them. But we'll see anyway. So that's that one there. Um, and I think, well, I can't remember what these got last Christmas or anything, but... With the Lego Advent Calendars, once they're retired, normally the next Christmas after, for example, let's say you have an Advent Calendar that goes, Star Wars one that goes for 25 quid one Christmas, um, then the next Christmas it might be 35 quid, if you're lucky it might be 40 quid, something like that, and so then maybe the next Christmas it might top a little bit more than that, it might be 45 quid. There has been instances where there's Lego Advent Calendars, and they go up in value more than that. But that's probably around the typical. So um, it's whether you want to just put them away and wait a bit longer and get a little bit more the following year. Whether you can be rather doing that or whether you just want to sell them uh, for a little bit less, whatever it may be. And it really, a bit of kind of just the market plays in this in terms of sometimes uh, the market might be in your favour and it just goes up a lot. Uh, a lot more one year and then you've, uh, you've ended up saving them and, and you've got a bit more out of them so it really depends on what you want to do um, and then we've got this must have been last year's uh, because it's 75245 not the 75213 so I'll definitely be leaving this I think unless I can see this go up in value quite a lot this Christmas it really depends with these 
if they go up a lot this Christmas, then I might be tempted to sell them. But if not, I just wait the, the extra year, really. Um, but we really don't know until this Christmas. Because, yeah, we can look at past data on eBay and past data on Amazon. But it doesn't inform us completely um, in how they're going to perform this year. Because they might do worse or they might do better. But we can at least kind of gauge a little bit of an idea from that data. Um, but yeah, so that's that anyway. And that is all the Lego for today. So what I'm going to do is I'll get it up here as I did last time. And uh, I will finish off the video. So as you can see, there is the Lego haul. A little bit smaller this time as you can see. Got a couple of advent calendars there. Got the gingerbread. A couple of free gifts again, which is always nice to get those free gifts. Again, I encourage people, if... Uh, Lego are doing a free gift or really if they're doing two free gifts at the same time then take advantage of that because that is always a good promotion and even buying sets full price uh, so long as you're getting a few gifts with them as well that can sometimes be advantageous because obviously the free gifts go towards essentially giving you a discount anyway. And then we've got the little micro fighter and then the Mandalorian stuff there, which is interesting. And that I do want to get my hands on a little bit more of that before it retires. So that being said, I will leave it there, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Whack a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.